I was on track to be promoted to C-Class until last time out, I had a couple of bad races. And now I'm back in the twos in the safety rating. So in order to try and repair that, we are at Imola, one of the most dangerous tracks in history, as well as in a Ferrari 296 GT3. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be fun. Join me and let's get into qualifying. And here we are coming up across the line for my first competitive lap at Imola. It's a very tricky track for me, uh, but we're going to try. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You're, you're a fucking idiot. All right, let's try that again. We have the man waving the white flag, and we are once again away at Imola. Coming up to the first chicane. Tamburello. It's slow, but we made it through without mishap. And then the Villeneuve chicane. Slightly faster here. And then, coming up, we've got a hairpin. Gentle, because this car loves to kick in its power and snap out the rear on you. Just being so gentle. There we go, we're through. It's a very stressful lap for me, I have to say. Coming up to Variante Alta. Chicane, it's tough. It's obviously one of the slowest parts of any track. <clears throat> but we're through and we're away. We just have the last couple of left-handers to go now. And probably taking it a bit slow but we want to keep it on track because this is the last corner of our only qualifying lap at Imola and we are coming through using all of the track here and coming up to the man waving the checkered flag what type of time can we do here 148.3 so we are last of the qualifiers and we're in p14 i suppose we should expect that from our first competitive laps at a track we've never raced at before but still we've got a long way to go and we have to protect our safety rating so join me and let's head to the grid and we are away on the end of our formation lap to start this race at Imola. Safety car speed. Right, the pace car is in and the green lights are on, which means we are away in this Ferrari GT3 race. We've got the first chicane coming up very shortly. Breaking early into that so as not to rear end anyone. And hopefully there's not gonna to be too many incidents here. Oh, yep, he rear-ended me. What a spanner. There's been a couple of incidents, though. Fuck me. Right, I'm dead last in 19th. That is an absolute scam. Got rear-ended, and then I thought I avoided everything else, but somehow I just got on the power too early and spun the wheels. So, I guess we got a lot of work to do. Hopefully there's a lot of guys that have had to go to the pits. There is a guy here that has just gone off. Yellow flag here. Oh, and there's a bumper. Yep, there's a couple of guys going into the pits now, so we should make up some places from what we have. And the guy in front of us has gone way off into the wall he has and that means we've made up another position p16 now oh and the guy in front fitzpatrick he's gone off as well into the first chicane oh a lot of wheel spin for me there on the exit but we kept it oh and i've avoided him 
good. Didn't see it till the last minute because I was concentrating on my own driving, but I've made up another place. This is good and we're sticking close behind Fitzpatrick. We're in P14 now. Oh, he's gone off track a little bit in front, a little bit of wiggling on the exit as well as we come up to Variante Alta. Oh, there looks like an incident. Now, that's a nice smooth corner. Oh, yep, there's one. And that's an incident. We've made up another place now in Ravata 2. There's another guy going into the pits, which is going to be good for us as we come around to finish the third lap and start our fourth. P12. This is good. Halfway now through the race. Seven and a half minutes gone. Come on. Oh, incident up ahead. This is good. Look at... Oh, oh my gosh. There's so much damage on his car. No, that's a lot of damage. And that's put us up into P11. Perfect. So we're three places up on our starting position. And we've gained eight since we had the incident that put us down into 19th. My goal, I would love to finish in the top 10. Whoa. Saved a big spin. It's okay. Nothing happened. A few moments later. Something happened. Something happened. Shit. Luckily, we're sort of in our own space here, and that didn't have to count for anything. Not even an incident point. In fact, this is going to be edited out, I reckon. Just over five minutes to go now. We have to keep much smoother than we have just because of our incident points eight out of 17 currently i think our laps are improving every lap we do we're getting more experience and we're improving not improving our speed always but improving our consistency which uh, is helping our race pace and now coming up to the white flag lap still in p11 but there's about 15 second gap either way so it's got to keep this position nicely taken through the first chicane and the left hander afterwards oh this has been a nice smooth lap very happy with it so far and it's the last one we're going to be able to do through Variante Alta and we're carrying a bit more speed through there now as well which is nice to see all we've got is this right hander the slight jink and then the two revatsas a bit slow but smoothness is good same with revatsa 2 but that means we are on to the final straight coming up to the man with the checkered flag this has been a good lap, and it's been an okay race overall. P11 in the Ferrari GT3 at Imola. Sorry, is it 10th? Did I somehow get 10th? I got 10th. Someone must have had to go into the pits on the last lap, and I got 10th. So there we go. We also hit our goal of top 10. But before I check the results, don't go anywhere because we have a second race coming. And if you want to talk everything sim racing and racing IRL, then join my Discord community. Link is the first in the description. And the results are in. Plus 0.04 on our safety rating and only plus one on our I rating, but both in the positives, which is good. And now for our second race, I need to avenge my last defeat. A race so bad that it took me under the 3.0 safety rating. I need to be promoted. That's right, it's Mount Panorama in the GT4 Challenge. I'm heading there in the Porsche this time, so join me and let's get into qualifying. And rounding the final corner, coming up to start our first and due to a bungled first outlap, our only qualifying lap. So we have to be very careful, we need it to be precise and we have to get to stay clean. First corner is nice and smooth. Now we're starting our uh, ascent into the uphill. Got zero for that contact. Is that going to count as an abnormal lap? I hope not. 
It's just a little nudge against the wall. Nothing major. Although that's not somewhere I've actually nudged the wall before, so that's a little bit worrying. Now, I'm in the Porsche this time. I was in the McLaren last time out at this track, but I actually wish I was still in the McLaren. This Porsche feels way too light here. Not sure if it's just this track or if it's the car in general, but it just, yeah, it's too light for my liking. It feels like I have no control over it. But anyway, we're stuck with it now. And now onto the second long straight of the track with a right-hander kink up at the end here as well. And then we've only got a couple of corners left until the end of the lap. Bit slow, but nicely smooth and nicely taken through there. And then just the last corner to go. And that's nice and smooth. As long as that contact doesn't count. It does. Oh, no. It does count as an abnormal lap. Very disappointed to be starting near the back again due to a bungled qualifying lap. But that's all we can do. Join me and let's head to the grid. Starting out on the end of our formation lap, we're in P22. So a big big race ahead of us Catch if we can get anything over. respectable from this here we are we're coming around the last corner now green let's go let's go all right lights are green let's go now it wasn't the first corner that derailed us last time out it was the first start of the uphill banking there's an incident in hell corner it looks like Zach. oh there is an incident here though and we've made it around them without damaging ourselves there's a car directly to our right another what looks like a big crash here don't rejoin yes he did not this is dangerous so this is the corner where it all went wrong for us last time a big accident and we're getting a slipstream here that's just too much for us to handle at the moment there's a mercedes coming in on our inside Ooh. This is where it's all gone wrong for us before. There was a little contact in front, but nothing major. There's an incident in the cutting. You think it might be Lloyd and Felt? There's an incident here as well in such a tight space. Oh my days. There's someone that looks like they were backwards there for a second. Maybe not. Maybe that was just my eyes. Following closely through here, though, there's no real overtaking opportunities. Just trying to stick with everyone. Looks like it's Mark. Now this is dangerous again because the car ahead is Warnick, car number 24. So much chaos to happen here. And I can see a bumper that was there already on the track. But we need to be we need to be in close contact with these guys now because here's a very very long straight where a slipstream is going to be super helpful <clears throat> everyone's pretty much going to get one but that's okay because if we get a if we had a good exit from that last corner then you know we'll we'll have an advantage anyway it's not going to be enough to make a move or anything but we're still keeping up with those in front And yet we have very much kept up with those in front. In fact, we are now right with them. Oh, oh, dangerous, dangerous rejoin. And there's a guy in front of us here with, oh my God. Another incident, absolute chaos here on the uh, first lap. Although thankfully none of it yet involving me and let's keep it that way. All right, Nick, the next car is- We've made a dive bomb. Is oh, that's a big one. Okay, I don't know whose fault was that. We'll have to investigate that after the race. But we did get four incident points, but it looks like our damage is okay. We are allegedly in P12 right now. So we're still in this. And we've got Morant coming up in front of us, whose uh, the gap is falling. 
gap very much falling now. It's just dropped a second in a couple of corners. Oh! Like oh, bit of contact! Ah! Jesus! I got a little bit of contact on the wall, but nothing that is going to damage me. And then, oh my god, they was in the middle of the road. I saw the smoke. I should have anticipated it better, but Christ alive, that was scary. Oh my days. Okay, so Morant is only a second in front. We are in uh, P11. The top 10 would be great. Starting in 22nd, that would be em enormous. But let's see what we can do. Gap firmly under a second in front as so we come up to finish the second lap. It's a 15 minute race here. 10 minutes remaining, 10 minutes. And now we have a good exit and we should get a decent tow from Morant down this long straight in the approach to the uphill section. I believe the Mercedes is a faster car than the Porsche and maybe we've got a, a roughly similar exit so the toe is just not enough yet. Uh, but through here, through this twisty section, we should have the advantage. And we do, we very much do. We're right on his tail now. And now we have someone on our tail too. Oh my god, where's he? What the freaking hell is he doing? BMW on our tail. Defend hard, make them work for it. Ooh. This is a tough section. I've got to concentrate. I'm going to be rear ended, I can tell. Man, that's a decent exit. It should be onto the back straight. We've been following him so closely for this whole time. Griffin Carden behind us is then like very close to us as well. There's a 0.7 gap between the guy in front and the guy behind me. Oh, Griffin's catching up to us big time. Went to cover the inside. He didn't go for it anyway. And so that kind of lost me time a little bit. He's going, tried to, he did try and make a move on the outside. He tried to force it and gave me contact. So that's 10 incident points. So that's really not doing anything for our safety rating. He's going to try and make a move up here as well. And he's probably going to make it stick. But that's fine because we've got... <clears throat> the straight on now and neither of us will be getting a toe from in front then really because Moran is too far in front since our battle has been going on and neither of us are getting a toe from each other we've got a similar exit and I've outbraked him into the right hander so I've kept my place my place I've defended it come on and this is where I catch up to the Mercedes every lap. He's so slow through this section. And that just means that even though I still have the, this Griffin behind me, he's trying to make a move here. I just think that is not to be advised. Holy. Okay. Well, he got through anyway because of my mistake. Accident ahead. Yellow flag. Okay. It's all right. He's off track. In front of me, they're so close to each other and they've pulled away from me a little bit. 1.5 seconds is the gap in front now. The next car is and they're fighting. 23. Just means hopefully each of them will get closer to me. I'm not sure. Looks like Carden's gone through. Which means the Mercedes is still the car in front of me, Morant. I'm sure I can make up this place. And if I get a good exit here, I will be in for a 
big toe down the straight. I did get a decent exit, and I'm right behind him now, but he's also getting a slipstream from in front. Carden. And he's just... He's too quick for me. I need to make up a position somehow in the twisty section, and it's just such a tough place to try and make a move anywhere. Oof. This is what I'm talking about, though. Oh, and now I've got another guy coming up behind me. Uh, he's an A-class driver, B-class driver, sorry, A-class behind him. Oh, that's it. This is my chance now. He's made a mistake. He hit the wall. I've pulled out on him. And, yep, this is going to be it. So he is now going to give a nice buffer between me and the guy behind him. Because they are clearly faster. This is not going to be good because I'm going to understeer here. Oh, and he's hit me. He's fucking... Why? 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 I'm in 13th now. Out of 14, by the way. There's an incident here. Yes, that means I've made up a position and this guy in front looks like he might be going a bit slower than before so rusty in front of me in the mercedes the pink mercedes not racing point he's a c-class driver but he's got about the same i rating as me and he's not that much faster if any so i should be able to make this place up i think Except for that, except for... Oh! Scheisse! No meeple? Okay, no meeple still. So not all is lost. Yeah, the, the incident points are terrible. The safety rating is not going to be improved by this. But we can still salvage I rating from it. There's only a minute to go, which means about one lap. It's not been the race that I thought it could be, especially from the start where we did so well. Some incidents that were my fault, some that I don't believe were. And oh, that is such a harsh off track as well. iRacing just doesn't want me to get promoted. It hates me. The white flag lap now coming up. There's the man waving it. Oh, good, good, good. Don't come back onto the track. Thank you. And it says that there may have been another car involved as well. Which is good. Okay, There's another guy that is super close behind me. 0 0.7 seconds. Is he going to have enough to do it down this straight? It's the last lap. I mean, P10 possibly. Looks like the 10th and 11th are in the pit. So it looks like I'm in top 10. Which is... Amazing. I don't think... I don't think he's going to have enough. He's going to try. I'm going to have to cover the inside. Yeah, and I've cut him off. That's right, I didn't touch him. And there we go. Beautiful. P10. Let's see, was this safe? Oh, that was fine. I wasn't anywhere near him. Just good defending from me. Okay, before I go anywhere, let's do some investigating. All right, so this is the first incident that I want to uh, take a look at. So we've got the blue car number seven in front of us, and then I am obviously the Porsche here. So we're getting a good run on in down the home straight. I break late and go for the inside, kind of sending it. But as you can see, when we get to the apex, I'm definitely alongside. What I interpreted at the time is that I had the corner I went through and was in front of him and he should have conceded and gave it up. Although what I'm seeing here is that he was definitely, you know, a little tiny bit ahead, which means I probably should have given him more space. But let's see what happens throughout the corner. Yeah, so this is at the point where I think I'm truly in front of him and he should give the corner up and not try and hit me. 
but what I think actually happened is that I should have just left more space. So I, I, I'm, I'm entitled to, I guess, go for the, the overtake, and I do it well, but I think here I should have probably kept my, kept to the inside a bit more. And although it doesn't look like we touched on the first point, that is when it is, yeah, that is when it is. So I guess on the balance, it's probably my fault. Um, but then again, he could have pulled out of the move as well and not hit me. So should we say racing? Should we say my fault? I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Um, tell me what you think. Okay, this is the second incident that I want to review. So we've got the Mercedes that's alongside me. So I've basically been following him the whole lap. He makes a bad exit, hits the wall, and I come out onto the, the long straight beside him. Eventually, we're coming up to this right hander here where I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna understeer and hit him. So he needs to pull out of this or go a bit wider. Very nearly happens. He breaks early and I break late. So, so then coming into this corner, I have the advantage. He's braked early. I've gone for it around the outside. I'm in late and yeah, he pretty much just hits me. Okay, I, I, I'm fairly confident that's my fault. Let's check my steering input because I don't think I turned into him. I think he just, okay, I turned a tiny, tiny bit. I did, uh, all right, I did turn a little bit, but I mean, what, where am I gonna go? There's a corner coming up. On the balance of that, if I'm turning in here, there's absolutely no way that this can be my fault, surely. He's not even, he's barely alongside my rear axle. If he's hitting me and I'm turning in there, they, it, it cannot be my fault, surely, right? I'm turning in, even if I'm going for the outside, I've got to turn in at some point, right? So we come up, I turn in, I'm pretty sure that. If you look at my trajectory just before he hits me, right there, my trajectory is this way. So I'm still giving him some space, like, into here but he's got to pull out by that point surely anyway well that's that's what happened and the results are in balls our safety rating took a big hit as expected because we did have a lot of incident points our i rating went up a tiny bit but it's really not good enough i need to find time to go back into the gr86 car because that's where i'm getting a lot of my safety rating increase it's a car that i find really easy to control so we'll probably do that next time only weakness I have is for the brunettes You already know I'll kill any shit I do next No kids so I'm raising the roof Next year they'll admit they just stands like an Uzbek